Okay, so this is actually going to be a fix for the FPS um, lock or V-Sync lock um, when scaling using an HDMI. So if I go ahead and open this up and uh, go to display, the HDMI scaling, if you notice, I don't have any, you know, and what a lot of people have told me to do is they say scale this down because I'm running straight HDMI from a TV. So if I go to here, show you that my resolution actually isn't 1920 by 1080. And I don't remember exactly how to do, oh, oh maybe here. Okay, it's not going to show you, but if I go to sound, actually, it will show you. It actually says ELDF T404, which is actually an Element TV, um, 39 inch, I believe, um, quote unquote 1080p. And from what I've heard is when going from HDMI, um, especially with the 48. Uh, RX 480 um, to a HDMI TV that the scaling not the scaling but over scan and under scan is actually an issue for me it was actually over scan so essentially what happens is I couldn't see the corners of my desktop it was too large and so I could go into scaling and say scale it down for me and that allowed me to fit the screen to my TV so I you know I could actually see completely my whole desktop so that was good and but whenever I would go into game and use vsync it would be stuck at 30 FPS and so I was like you know that's not right the GPU is way stronger than that so maybe it's 30 Hertz you know because that does happen to where if you change it to 30 Hertz um, it will lock in at 30 FPS but no, it was running 60 hertz, which was where I thought it was running, or 59, 60, you know, it should lock at 60 FPS, whatever. So, what happened is, I was curious, I was like, okay, what happens if I just turn the HDMI scaling off, you know, completely? Well, my FPS went right back up to where it should be, you know, 80 FPS or something, I can't remember off the top of my head, this was about a year ago. And so I was like, there's a problem with the scaling. So I looked all over on trying to figure out if Windows could scale, you know, um, the desktop instead of having the GPU scale it. And so what I've come to find out is a lot of people were saying use codes, you know, to get into your menus to see if there's a scaling option or aspect or ratios. Um, options and you could do that you know but with mine element tv it didn't work um however i was able to get into the menu system and um essentially yeah you press menu then zero 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 and then you go to overscan and you have two options you have vertical overscan and you have um horizontal overscan and every single time it was really strange because it would it would be zero during bo uh, bios it would be zero while Windows was booting, but as soon as the desktop opened, it would shoot up to 24 overscan. And so I was having to sit there, wait for it, it would go up to 24, then I would bring it all the way back down to zero, horizontal and vertically. So I was wondering, is there a way that I can get it to not overscan, you know? And like I said, the only way that I found a lot of people was able to fix it without using the TV or monitor was to use the GPU and for some stupid reason it's locking it into 30 FPS I don't know why it does that but I have found a solution so I did a, a benchmark um, not too long ago and randomly it said my GPU or my desktop was actually is it right here anymore um, I don't remember exactly what the the random one it said that it was, but it was a ratio of 16 by 9, which this is, my TV is a 16 by 9 ratio. And so, I was like, okay. And so I punched that number in, actually. And I made a custom, 
um, resolution because I was like, okay, if it's saying that, that maybe that's the max and it's not 1920 by 1080 because I have heard that a lot of um, monitors are actually 720 and they say 1080. I don't know why they do it. I'm not, you know, TV salesperson. That's not my problem. But so I was like, okay, what if that's the max is because it was over scanning. So I was like, okay, these numbers are smaller than 1920 by 1080. So why not? Let's go ahead and try it. And what happened is horizontally, it was smaller than my TV. Okay, so it was about an inch off to each side. But vertically, it was, I believe, two to three centimeters too big. So it was really close, a lot closer than anything I've come close to. Um, so I was like, okay, that started to get me to think about this. I was like, okay, I got to try this custom resolutions. I know that I've tried this before. And so I was like, what are these ratios? Because obviously a ratio is because essentially the, I'm trying to make this quick. My apologies. Um, essentially what scaling does is, oh, why did I press that button? Um, what scaling does is you can center it or you can preserve the aspect ratio. And that's what every time, every time that I did was to scale it, it just shrunk it, but it stayed the same aspect. So I was like, okay, so it's same, the same ratio. So I was like, okay, so my TV is not messed up. It's not like I'm going to have to put some really weird ratio or um, uh, resolution in. I just have to figure out a rate of resolution that has the same ratio as 16 by 9 because that's what 1080p is and so um i found this website here that has all the native ratios of list of perfect 16 by 9 ratios exactly so scaling at 1.7 so i don't know anything about this i don't know all i know is that you know here's the 9 here's the 16 and here's factors of them. I'm guessing. I don't even know that. <laughs> well, 1600 by 900 is there right there. Okay, so it is 16 by 9 right there. Interesting. That's um, 100 times the ratio. So I guess it's these are factors of 9. These are factors of 16s. I wonder if it actually goes 16 by 9. Yeah, 9, 18. Interesting. I never really thought about that. But that's what ratio is all about, obviously. At any rate, so I went ahead and created um, the first one. Well, the first one was obviously 1920 by 1080. I didn't need to create that one. So I did the 1880 by 1060. And so obviously the 19 is over here in the 1080 or the 10 or 1920 and 1080. So obviously this is going to be your vertical. This is going to be your horizontal or should I say vertical horizontal at any rate. So 1880 by 1062. Um, I kept this the same refresh rate. You want it to say at 60 unless your monitor or TV can go higher than that. Mine is 60 maxed. Um, and uh, uh, 1080p is um, progressive 1080i is interlaced so you should be able to figure that out if your is 1080i then do interlaced if it's 1080p do um progressive minus 1080p so i stay with progressive on here this is where it i try to save this and it says the custom resolution is not compatible so manual timing this is where i actually was able to create everything i turned this over to cvt i don't know what that means but all i know is it worked um so i changed that over to cvt i press save um, I don't know what the screen's going to do while I'm recording, but forget it. I'll try it. Okay, so now it's saved over here. Um, so then I, I noticed that sometimes when I was saving it, it wasn't actually switching over everything. So then I would actually come over here to display, and then it would show up right here. Um, 1880 is not showing up right now watch this so if I change the resolution revert now if I go back over here 1880 by 1026 so which is really strange because it doesn't show up until I actually change the resolution 
and then back again. Um, I have since messed up my resolution, um, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too hard for me to figure out which one is the correct one for me because I think, yep, it's this one right here, 1820. That's the one that worked for me. So it looks like I'm going to have to remake that resolution. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. That's the one that I found to be working for me. Um, I don't know what the gray ones are. I'm guessing they just did it for contrast reasons, but I have no idea. I just stuck stuck to the white ones, and it, it seemed to, uh, the brighter ones, it seemed to work fine with me. Um, so let's go ahead and make that resolution for myself to see if I know it works. So um, we got the 8... 1824 by 1026 and I did this last time for me as well when I put 1026 it didn't actually put 1026 it actually put 1080 which I don't understand so let's do that again 1026 I might have actually not wrote it as well I have no idea um, swap this over to CVT and go ahead and save it and yeah again the option is here now, so 1024 by 1026, um, but it's not activated, shall I say, and then 18, uh, it did actually show up this time though, um, so 1824 by 1026, go ahead and keep these changes because they are the correct size, and now I get to restart my computer. I don't have to mess up, mess with anything. My FPS is fine. Everything is good, um, which is really strange. Um, not really strange, but really interesting thing that I found out, though. This is going in a little bit more detail about this, is that if you look at these ratios, the one that I need to pick is 1824, 1824 by 1026. It's actually it's it's tw 50 or a little bit less than 50 54 or something like that or it's it's really close to 50 I thought it was 50 maybe I'm stupid because that's like a hundred I don't know never mind I thought I was on to something last time I thought it was exactly 50 pixels each side um which is not a factor of 16 or 9 so I thought that was really strange at any rate um so hopefully this works for you guys, it works for me, and I'm super ecstatic, I've been having to change the uh, overscan on my TV every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, whenever my TV turns off, it goes to sleep, or my computer goes to sleep, I turn it back on and I have to change the uh, overscan, and it's a pain. Um, some people have remote, or aspects on their remotes where they just, you know, press an aspect ratio, and it changes over to P c mode or one by one pixel um not for me i had to manually you know and it wasn't like highlight 24 and go to zero it was literally hold the uh controller button down until it dropped down to zero then go to another one i'll drink bring that all the way to zero so it's a pain at any rate like i said hopefully this works for you guys and uh enjoy